What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Asylum Mike back with another video. Before we hop into the video, showing you guys my new and improved leg day. What I need you to do is smash that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe because we're dropping new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Turn on notifications if you don't want to miss a video, as well as check out Twitch. It is a link in the description if you want time to come hang, chat, chill. Uh, I do play video games, but I mostly just hang out with y'all. We're building a dope community there, and I'm trying to stream anywhere from five to seven times a week. Link in the bio. Uh, check it out. Guys, I am the Lunge Squad King. You guys formerly known, formerly knew me as the Peach King, and I, I still am. I'm the reigning Peach King of the internet. Um, and, and we're just taking a little break here, trying to even them out, trying to even out the cheekers. You don't want unsymmetrical cheeks. And so I'm starting every workout with either a leg press or a lunge. Uh, I'm undulating them weekly. I'm trying to do legs anywhere from two to three times a week, um, with those two being the main exercises. And by undulating, what I basically mean is the rep scheme or the weight and the intensity of each uh, will either be a lower rep day, which would be anywhere from like six, five to eight or so, a little bit heavier dumbbells, uh, or eight to maybe 12, maybe even 15, a little bit lighter dumbbells. So uh, kind of getting a stimulus on different muscle fibers as well as a different work capacity, uh, a little bit higher reps and a little bit lower reps. And it's feeling really good if I do say so myself. Uh, for those that have been following me, I have a little bit of an imbalance going on, uh, not only in my hips, uh, but in my low back. And so I'm trying to find exercises that one, don't hurt my back so I can still overload and, and work my legs. And then two, also allow me to rehab in the long term. You know, I, I'm currently not deadlifting or squatting, but I will uh, in the future. So the goal now is just to maintain muscle, if not build some muscle, figure out some imbalances and, and almost a very elongated, elongated uh, prehab, not necessarily rehab because I'm not injured, injured, um, but I just want to feel better. And again, I need to detach myself from the barbell so we can get into that shreds life. You guys see those veins in the right arm? They're coming. We're coming. Body weight's currently uh, 204 to 206 in the morning, but I am feeling leaner. Uh, I'm looking a little bit leaner and the veins are starting to pop out. Um, the leg press has been a nice little switch for me, something I can load up some heavier weights. It feels good going unilateral. Although down the road, I might be able to do both legs. Um, I'm just sticking to unilateral stuff. Here's something shout out to my guy, uh, Jake. Uh, from Bar Bend. I saw him messing around and he was joking about being a, a, a Fitzbo thoughty girl. Um, but it is a great movement, not only maybe even for a warm up, uh, but some uh, unilateral wise to feel out both my hips. I still kind of flinch. You can see it on my face sometimes on lunges and this. There's something going on in my right hip. So uh, just handling lightweight, I think it's maybe a 30 pound kettlebell or so. And I'm almost again using it as a rehab prehab movement just to feel out depth, feel out my hips and try to get those balances back. Uh, it's a good little stretch in the groin you can see on my right leg doesn't want to stretch out all the time um, but I'm really focusing on stretching out that off leg and pressing hard through my entire foot on the uh, bottom leg on all my training days I am going by feel but I'm training anywhere from four to six times a week um, here's the plug of the day basically based off of the Alberto Nunez um, beyond the basics of bodybuilding program that we have with Kaizen as well as our po power building 2.0 program I'm taking pieces from each of those um, and applying them to my week as well as I'm going for the Calisthenics World Cup Championship coming in a couple weeks. You guys can find me there. Uh, but basically what I'm trying to do is train only when I'm really motivated or I have the energy. And on those days, I'll either do leg push pull, upper lower split, as well as always try to hit some kind of um, core type movement, whether it's a leg uh, raise, a plank, a side plank, uh, maybe even farmer carries as part of my conditioning. I can consider that a little bit of core or even um, a weighted crunch on a cable or machine depending on what gym I am and then also on those days I'm trying to get some type of conditioning uh, some days it's a little bit harder uh, you know, a, a sled sprint and some heavy farmer carries are a little more difficult. Some days it's just riding a bicycle at the commercial gym for 20 minutes. Uh, some days it's somewhere in between where uh, lately my groove has been um, a step mill for a pretty hard 10 minutes and then a pretty hard bike ride for about 10 minutes. Is that world-class conditioning? No, not even close. But is it better than I have done over the last couple years? It is. You know, last time I did conditioning like this, uh, this much, it was probably... Might even been basketball days, you know, just after basketball days. Uh, when I when I was really more competitive powerlifting the last seven years, I had spurts where I would do some sprints maybe once or twice a week. Uh, but to get my lungs burning or legs burning, feeling that, you know, running through quicksand feeling, 
uh, five times a week. It's been a really long time. And uh, to be honest, I'm enjoying it. I did an Instagram post on it uh, kind of jokingly, but I'm really enjoying trying to do different movements in my training. Although I am slowly trying to progressively overload them, I am not scared to try a new movement. Um, where in the past, I would be so stuck on a movement and wanting to progress with it programming wise. I think it paralyzed my brain and my motivation. So um, farmer's carries, I've done two weeks in a row. Uh, one week I did 140 pounds in each arm. So this week I tried to do 160 pounds each arm. Will I do farmer's carries next week? I don't know. But if I do, I'll try to go a little bit heavier. Not that big of a deal. Same with the sled push. You know, uh, One, one uh, week I did rounds with an assault bike of five. I did five sprints, assault bike sprint, and a cruise. And then the next week I'll try to do six rounds. Trying to keep it basic, but still progress. And I appreciate you guys again new videos dropping be sure to give this thing a thumbs up if you enjoy the the vlogs and the training content silent mike i'm out of here thank you all for the support later